We have some fun center things to do today. So let's just get straight into our first combination. We'll start in first position, arms low, five, six, seven, eight, and a demi, and straight, and demi, and straight, and demi, all the way down, demi, and straight. Going straight to second position, same thing, two demis, one grand, demi, and straight, demi, and straight, grand, five, six, seven, and eight. After that, we are going to transition to fourth position, two demis, and then one grand. After fourth position, we are not going to go to fifth position, which is something we usually do. We are going to be exploring third position today, just for a little bit. So third position is when your heel to arch. So third position, two demis on grand, demi and straight, demi and straight, grand, seven and eight. After that, we're gonna go back to first position, but we're gonna turn in for our stretches. Stretching forward for four, come up three, four, back, five, six, seven, eight, into the bar, one, two, come up three, four, other way, five, six, come up seven, turn out on eight, and we are going to be doing four plie releves here in first position, plie and up, and plie and up, and plie and up, last one, plie and up, arms to first, let go when you're ready, Balance, 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 and slowly with control, lower your heels, arms down. So don't just drop your heels down. You have to control your lowering also. So let's just get straight into it, everybody. I'll call it out. Six and uh, seven and eight. Two demis, one grand. Demi and straight. Demi. All the way down, press demi, then strain. Two demis, one grand again. Follow the hand, don't tilt forward. Equal weight between both feet. Knee side, knee side, and then strain. Come back into parallel for stretches. Three and four backwards. Legs straight, abs in. To the bar. Away. Now four plie releves. Plie, releve. Plie, long toes. Plie, press the ground, heels down, heels up, and stay. Shoulders down, abs in, lengthen your waist. And that's it. Great job, everyone. Let's get straight into the left side now. For this left side, I really want you to focus on moving with the music. Down, straight, down, 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 straight, 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 down, 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 all the way down, press demi, 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 straight, straight, straight. Really fill out every single moment and make it smooth. Fourth position, equal weight. Remember to have weight on your front leg especially. Knee side, press demi, straight. Let's go to third. Down, 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 up, up, up. Use all the music here. Inhale, and then exhale. Come up, inhale, and then exhale back, come up. Same thing, use your breath. 
other side. Find length through your upper body. And let's do our four plie releves. And still here, you're finding length through your torso and your elbow is up. Balance. Relax your neck and your jaw. Great job. We are going to be continuing to explore third position in our tendu combination. So again, third position can be as opened or as closed as you want it to be. It really depends on how your hips and your glutes are feeling right now. So let's get started in third. Five, six, seven, eight, four tendus front. Tendu, close, tendu, close. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. And now four tendus back. Tendu, close, third. Tendu, close, third. Tendu, close, third. Tendu, close, third. Make sure I'm not hitting anything behind you. I've been hitting the leg of my bar a few times. And then four tendu side. Four, close front. Close back. Close front. Close back, four tendus, but using the inside leg. Close front, close back, close front, close back. And now we are going to be doing the same thing, but two around instead of four, and we are going to be closing in fifth position. Tendu, close fifth, tendu, close fifth. That's two, now two back. Tendu, close fifth, tendu, close fifth. Two side, tendu. Don't change, tendu, then change. Same thing on the inside, tendu, don't change, tendu, then change. And then after that, we'll plie in fifth position and balance in high fifth, balance, 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 and then we'll come down after that. So again, watch out that you're not gonna hit anything next to you. And if you don't have a bar or just space in general to tendu your inside leg, just do the same thing with your outside leg, if that makes sense. So we did four outside leg, four inside leg. Just do four outside leg, and then four more outside leg if you don't have the space to move your inside leg. Because I know some of us are using chairs that are right up against walls or counters where there's really not space to have this foot kind of go in this direction. So modify this combination as needed. Okay, let's get straight into this. Starting in third position, four tendus front, and close, and close. Squeeze your legs together, squeeze your legs together back, close. Now to the side, side don't change, side then change. Close front, close back, inside leg, no change. Then close back, then close front. Again in twos, close fifth, close fifth to the back, fifth, elbow up, side don't change, side then change, inside leg, front, inside leg, close back. Plie and susu here. Your thighs are squeezing together. Your ankles become one. Chin slightly lifted. Open. And we'll come down. So this exercise is really tricky because you have to anticipate the next thing that is coming and shift your weight accordingly. So when you do four tendus front, the last one, you have to shift your weight onto the front leg so that the back leg is free to tendu, four of those. And then when you close, shift again onto the back leg to do four outside, close, shifting the weight, four inside, close, shifting the weight. And then the really mean slash tricky part of this is that when you are done with the first part, four front, four back, four outside, four inside, you have the twos, but the twos are closing in fifth. So you have to remember that we're closing in fifth for the twos. Close fifth, close fifth, shift your weight. Close fifth, 
close, fifth, shift your weight, fifth, fifth, shift, don't change, then change. This is definitely going to be tricky, but let's just get straight into it. I know you can do it. Starting in third position, left foot front, seven and eight, front, close, third. Make sure your shoulders and hips are square to the front. Back, directly behind you. Shift your weight, close front. And then on the last closing, you have to shift your weight to the back leg, close front, close back, close back, front, close and fifth, front, shift your weight, back, close, get ready to shift here, inside leg, plie, scoop it up, arms in high fifth if you can, shoulders down, knees perfectly straight and stretched, abs in, even as you lower, abs in. Great job. I'll be demonstrating the next exercise, jetés, using my left side. Starting in fifth position, there's gonna be quite a long intro, so get ready for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, then seven, eight. Jeté and close. Jeté, close fifth. Jeté, pique, close fifth, and hold. Same thing to the side. Jeté and close. Jeté, pique, close fifth. Same thing. Back and close. Jeté and close. Jeté, pique, close fifth, and hold. This is where it gets different. Coupe for two, change, close again. Five, six, change, close fifth. So we're reversing this whole entire thing. It's three jetés holding out the last jeté and doing a pique. And then we're gonna do it back, side, front. Jeté and close. Jeté and close. Jeté, pique, close, fifth, and hold. Jeté, close front. Jeté, close back. Jeté, pique, close, fifth, and hold. I'm speeding it up so I can get to the last part. Jeté, pique, close, fifth, and hold. And after you do front side back, you're going to do coupe and two, switch three and four, coupe back and two, switch three and four. So what I'm really doing is holding a position for one, two, switch on three, close on four, holding a position for five, six, switch on seven, close eight. So holding something for two counts, one count for a transition, and then one count for closing. Let's just get straight into it, everybody. Three jetés, one piques, two coupés at the end. A lot of numbers. I'll call it out. This is a long intro. Five and six and seven and eight. Jeté close fifth. Jeté close fifth. Third jeté to pique. Close. Hold to the side. Close back. Really point your foot as hard as you can. Brush the ground. Close. Coupe back. Set it down front, coupe front, heels down in the back, brush, brush the ground, but don't throw your upper body off balance as you brush, side, really pull up on that standing leg so that you don't get thrown off of balance, front, front, pique, close, Knee side, point your foot, then set the heels down. Knee side, set it down the front. Let's go directly to the left side now. Remember long intro? Wait for it. Six, seven, eight. Jeté. Remember, your jeté sides are slightly in front of you. They're not directly side of you. 
to the back. Elbow up. Have a nice light grip on the bar. You should be trying to support yourself as best as you can on your standing leg and not using your bar arm. Reverse. Shoulders down. Relaxing the neck. This is a leg exercise. Side. Close. Brush. Close. Brush into the ground. Brush. Close. Third one. Pique. Really push off the ground. Close. And then in the back, same thing. Push off the ground to coupe. Then close. That's it. We are speeding through this bar. So next is our Rana Jam. We are going to begin our Rana Jam combination in fifth position. And we'll begin with Pas de Cheval on Quar in the cross pattern. So five, six, seven, arm side. Wrap Pas de Cheval, close fifth. Wrap Pas de Cheval, close fifth. Coupe back Pas de Cheval, close fifth. Coupe back, pas de cheval, and hold, and uh, front, back, and uh, front, back, and uh, front, back, last one, front, back, close. So before I reverse it, I just want to be really, really clear that there is a position that you need to get to before your pas de cheval, which is either a wrap or a coupe back, and I am being really explicit in this combination of when you need to do what. So reversing this, coupe back to pas de cheval, close. Coupe back to pas de cheval, close fifth. Wrap to pas de cheval, close fifth. And wrap, pas de cheval, hold. And then four rond de jambes, starting back and front and back and front and back and front, last one back, front, close. And then we'll do our circular porta bras. So all the way around for eight counts, five, six, seven, eight. Reversing this all the way around, another eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your arm goes down and you're in coupe at this time and your leg and your arm works together upwards so that you're in passe and arm in first position. Let go of the bar whenever you're ready. And then this is your own timing for 16 counts, balance, balance, balance. And then whenever you're ready, trail back down to wrap and then put your foot down into fifth position. Don't just put it down, right? You have to do the reverse of exactly what you did. So you have to trail down your leg and your legs are in contact the whole time. So you're in passe and you're trailing down and then you get yourself back to a wrap, not coupe front, but wrap and then down to fifth. So there's a lot of details in that last part. You can't just pick up your foot and you can't just put it down. There are small positions you have to go through. That's enough technique for now. Let's get straight into the right side, fifth position. Seven and eight. Pas de cheval, close fifth. To the side, to the back, one more. To the side. And uh, front, back, front, back. Keep the hips stable. Let's reverse it. Really point your foot, then close. Really point your foot. You're really showing off how banana-like your foot is right here. And uh, back, front, back, and front. Last one, close fifth, let's stretch. This is really luxurious here. You wanna take every count possible, so don't rush through it. Inhale, exhale. All the way down. Let's get into our balance. Go through all those little positions before you get your leg up to passe. Both knees should be pointed side, but especially the standing leg. Really pull up on that and make sure you have the weight 
on the ball of the foot. So much to think about, I know. You can do it. And that's it. So before we get into the left side, I think some of you might have noticed that it is really, really tricky to get the transition from pas de jambes straight into the next rana jambe. And the reason why it's tricky is because the last pas de jambes, the hold is not as long as you think it is. So let me demonstrate. You're doing pas de jambes front and close, pas de jambes side and close, pas de jambes back and close. Last one side and hold but the hold is just maybe half a second shorter than what a lot of us would probably expect so you do have to hold there is a hold that does exist so don't skip it but you can't hold it for too long you have to actually just do a little preparation and just start moving your leg after the last pas de cheval i hope that makes sense i am definitely going to point this out in the left side voice narration so let's just get into it Okay, dancers, run a jambes on the left side. Starting with pas de cheval. Pas de cheval to tendu, so not off the ground, but on the ground. Pas de cheval on the ground. Close. Last one. Short hold. Back and front and back. Front and back. Last one. Close fifth. Pas de cheval. Shoulders are squared to the front. Last one. Short hold. Front and back. Then front. Back. Two more. Inhale to exhale. Relax the neck when you go down. your breath to carry you through the stretch. Shoulders still down. Roll up. Go through all your little foot positions before you get to passe. Keep that foot very pointed. Make sure your standing leg's knee is straight. Abs are lifted up. And you're smiling, of course. All righty. We are almost done with bar. We are going to be doing a combined combination with frappes and grand bat mas. Let's get started in fifth position. Five, six, tendu, seven, flex, eight. Frappe, frappe, to the side and side. This is en croix, six and seven, eight, close fifth, and then we are going to be doing one grand bat ma en croix, front, close, side, close, back, and side. Close again, front, and side, back, and side, close, front, plie, su, su. Short music, so we won't let go of the bar. You can let go if you want to. There's not really enough music, so you can do this thing where you just take your hand off the bar, but what I want you to think about in this balance is elongating, not doing it with your shoulders, but elongating your waist actually. What is that like to create a lot of space in your waist? This is a really, really important concept in ballet. It's just length and finding length within your hips, your legs, your knees, and your waist. So we're gonna be focusing on the waist for today. So balance, balance, balance. There's not enough music to really balance for that long, and then we'll come down and fit. Starting fifth position and seven flex front, front and side, side brush the ground, brush the ground, front close, grand bat ma, shoulders down, brush again, arms high, arms side, last one. Just a slight balance. You don't have to let go of the bar if you don't want to. Find your center of gravity. And we'll come down. So one question that I had when I was 
beginning ballet was how do you transition from this arm to this arm? So one way is to do this, and maybe another way is to go down and then open, and maybe a third way is to do first and open. So how do I know which way to go? And let me start with all those ways can be valid depending on the combination. So I'm gonna give you the exact arms that I want you to be using for this exercise. So you're doing your two frappes, two frappes, two frappes, two frappes. And then the first arm goes down and up, close, and then just drop side and close. Just do the arms. And then the arm goes down to go forward and close. And the arm comes to first position to open. So the first transition is from second position all the way down to high fifth. And the next transition is pretty straightforward. High fifth, just opening up. The third transition, don't just cut it, because I know a lot of people are gonna wanna just do that, but I want you to go all the way down to go forward. Let's try to incorporate the arm halves on this side. And eight, elbow up, back, down to go up, drop the arm to the side, down, up, just open second, up, and drop to the side, really slight balance here, just pull the abs up, feel a lot of length. Alrighty, we are picking up from the last lesson when we introduced pas de berets at the bar. We are going to be doing a somewhat similar combination, but the challenge this time will be speed. So we are going to be doing things a lot faster. <laughs> Let's get straight into the combination. Pas de berets, we are starting with our left foot back in coupe, five, six, seven, plie on eight, and uh, back, side, fondue, and hold, and uh, back, side, fondue, and hold. So that was two slow pas de braise. We are going to do four faster now. Back, side, fondue, back, side, fondue, back, side, fondue, back, side, forward. Now, slow, and slow, and fondue, and hold. Two slow, coupe, fondue, and hold. Now four faster, pas de berets and coupe. Back, side, fondue, back, side, forward, back, side, forward, last one, back, side, forward. Why did I say last one? Not last one, passe. Passe front, passe front, fondue forward, and hold. Passe front, front of the knee, fondue, and hold. Now four faster, front, front, fondue, back, side, fondue, back, side, forward, back, side, fondue, and that's it. I'm very tempted to spend a lot of time talking about this, but let's just try out this combination. I'm gonna be filming this in the old school way that I used to do back in the Absolute Beginner series where my voice live voice will be attached to the combination. Um, so it's giving you that warning so that you don't get freaked out. Let's get started. Six and seven, plie on eight. Back, side, front, and hold again. Back, side, front, now faster. Back, side, front, back, side, front, Back, side, front, back, side, front. Coupe, coupe, fondue, and hold. Coupe, front, coupe, front, fondue. Faster. Two more. Back, side, front, fondue, passe. Passe, fondue. Same idea still, back, side, front, now fast. Back, side, 
front, back, side, front, back, side, front, back, side, front, and that's it. Welcome to Center for Lesson 9. Today, of course, like always, is going to be a challenging one. We are going to begin with a combination that we have been building off of for quite a bit, actually. That's the tendu combination. So let's just get straight into it. Last time I mentioned that we are going to be throwing in angles or directions this lesson. So we're gonna do exactly just that. Starting facing corner number one, fifth position, right foot front, we are going to begin with our left arm high, five, six, seven, eight, and tendu, close. Tendu, close to the side, close front, side, close back, and back, close two tendus, close, face forward, grand plie, push, change direction. Now same thing, tendu, front, and close to the side, close front, side, close back, back, fifth, back, fifth. Now face forward or angle number two, grand plie, push, facing angle number one at the end. And that's it. We've been building on this combination for a while is so that I can finally teach you two directional facing ballet terminologies today. It's croise and efface. Croise means crossed, efface means added. But let's talk about what croise or crossed looks like. So in our combination, we start with two tendus front. When you tendu front, your back leg is obscured and this is considered a crossed leg because the back leg is obscured. When you tendu side, it's actually another thing, so I'm not gonna talk about that today, but it, there's actually another word for this directional thing. But when you turn to your back, when you can see both legs clearly, it is a face. So again, cross, croise, see everything clearly, a face. So here's a trick question. If I were to turn to your front with my left leg facing angle number one, is this croise or is this a face? So earlier, this was croise. But the question is, is this croise? And the answer is no, this is not croise, this is efase, because you can see both thighs clearly. But if I were to switch that tendu, now I'm blocking, the standing leg is blocking one of my thighs, or my upper thigh really, and this is considered a croise. So let's do the same kind of exercise on the other side. So fifth position, when you tendu front, this back thigh is obscured by this working leg, so Croise. When I tendu back, I can see both thighs clearly. And then I switch tendu front with the right leg now. I can see both thighs clearly. A face. And this is croise because my right hip or thigh is being obscured. So, way early in the series, we learned the directions um, using numbers, right? We learned one, two, three, and then all the way to eight. But when you go to certain classes, a lot of them will not use numbers. So some teachers will just say, right foot front, tendu croise. So right foot front, croise. So this is not croise, this is croise. And that's how you will get the directions, that you kind of have to work backwards and parse all the words. Um, we're eventually going to get to that type of stuff, but right now I like sticking to numbers because it's really, really simple, and that's the progression you need to start with, is something simple and then go into something hard. A face and croise are not only just positions that describe legs, but it can sometimes be position that describes the whole entire body, so your upper body and even your head position. So I'm not gonna really spend too much time on this because we're not that level yet, but I will tell you one head position today. It is the croise head position. So croise we learned is obscured legs. So when you turn in front in croise, your head is gonna tilt in the same angle that this working leg is in. So this is not the same angle. This is kind of the same angle, but you're breaking the angle. It has to be the exact same kind of line that the leg is doing. So don't over tilt and don't tilt in the wrong direction. <laughs> 
So this is what it's gonna look like when you're in Croise. You're gonna be slightly tilted and looking forward. Um, there's actually something going on with your shoulders too, but let's not talk about that for today. Just tilting of the head. Same thing on the other side, tilt, following the angle that your working leg is making. When you turn to side, I want you to just look straight forward. And then when you turn to back, same thing that we've been doing in the past, just looking past the fingers. And then second position, grand plie, straight on, that's fine. So the only really new thing is that head tilt in croise. All right, I think that's all the information I wanted to give. Let's get into the combination. All right, let's get started. Right foot front, fifth position, facing corner number one. Seven, eight, head tilt. Side close front, side close back with the arms. Side, grand plie, push, close other corner. Look forward. Behind you, behind you, side, grand plie, push, corner number one. Alrighty, everybody, we are going to get started with our choreography work. I have tried to film this in the last lesson, but it was way too long, so I'm gonna to try to do my best to be as succinct as possible today. Um, but let's just get straight into it. We are going to be starting in the back, what is this, left corner. So no arms yet, just legs. Starting in B plus, so that means that your right foot is back and it's slightly bent and it's being obscured a little bit by your left leg that is perfectly straight. So like that. B plus, five, six, seven, eight. And a susu, down, and a susu, down, and a susu, hold, coupe. Other side, susu, down, susu, down, susu, up, down. So let's talk about what just happened. Essentially, you're bringing your right leg front, susu, and susu, and susu, right leg up, down. And then left leg, susu, and susu, and susu up down. Let's do just the susus and up downs going from one side and the other side kind of like in a zigzag pattern. Um, no formal music yet, just my very awkward counting. So right foot back, we're going to susu with right foot front, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, and a susu, down, and a susu, down, and a susu, hold, up, down, other side and susu down susu down susu down up down so that's all there is to it my main goal right now is not really anything technical i want us to just be on the same page with what leg is moving where and what direction you're traveling in okay so now let's do the same thing but add in the arms so b plus five six seven eight Su, su, so this is my right arm. Down, su, su, down, third, su, su, stay, up, down, other side, other arm, down, su, su, down, su, su, up, down. So let's talk about where I'm looking when I am doing my three su, su's, my first three su, su's. I'm looking over this front forearm. Um, and I'm not looking at something that is directly below my front forearm, like something here. I'm looking past it, so just a little over, like that, so that my chin can be raised. Because if I'm looking straight at my forearm, my nose is going to be pointing at my forearm. But I want a nice raised chin kind of an angle. Susu, and susu, and susu. And this arm, as you can tell, it's elongated. And we're not going to add this in yet, but what I would really like is a body tilt almost. You're tilting towards that direction, but that's for later. I, I know there's a lot happening. So let's mark this one time through with just um, the angles of the arms and the direction of the head. So this means you don't have to do the full leg movements yet. I want you to just focus on the upper body for now. 
So just very casual counting. Five, six, seven. Elongate the back arm. Susu, look over the forearm. Susu, look over the forearm. Susu, keep your gaze there. Coupe down. And then other side, look over the other forearm. And second susu. Second susu, up, down. That's the first eight counts of the choreography work. So let's try this um, at a faster tempo and let's try to just add everything together. I know there's a lot going on, but if the arms become too much, put your hands on your waist and just smile. <laughs> okay, everybody, so just with my counting. Five, six, seven, eight. And susu, fondue, susu, fondue, susu, hold, coupe down, other side. And susu, fondue, susu, fondue, susu, hold, coupe down. So I hope you got that <laughs> because now we will move on. If you're having trouble with this at all, definitely rewind this and do this a couple of times. But for now, we are going to move on to the next eight counts. So after you do your lasso su, and then you do your coupe down, we are going to go into two balances. So one and two, three and four, tombe pas de bourre, plie, arms up. Let's just end it there for now. There's more choreography that I want to add in, but that's all we're learning today. Okay, so let's mark that again. And of course, you don't have to mark this with the arms, but I'm throwing in the arms for this eight counts because you should be familiar with these arms because these are the arms we've been using in a lot of our combination exercises in the series. So one more time marking. Third Su Su here, and then up down. And then you do your two balances and you move backwards. Balance, balance. And then you tombe pas de bourre to corner number three. Tombe pas de bourre. This is a plie. Arms up and open. And it actually doesn't do that, but for now, let's just do arms up and open. And the next lesson the last count is actually something a little bit different but for now arms up and open i want us to just talk a little bit about that last half that we just went through again so you just are on susu your last susu coupe down and then you're on susu still and you balance it off of susu so you're on susu do not come down into fifth flat to balance it. i want you to stay up up down and then balance it back, which means that your angle is going to be in this kind of direction, right? Your upper body is going to be doing a little bit of twisting back and forth as you balance it backwards. After your first balance and then your second balance, tombe, you have to face angle number three, tombe, pade, bu, re, and then you end in a plie, legs straighten and open. I want to talk a little briefly about how choreography work is very different than just your normal combinations in classes. The first thing is that you're going to be confused. That's just part of the process really. So for our combinations that we do in class, I'm really clear about what is happening, what leg is moving, what exact move you're doing, and all the moves are extremely repetitive. But for choreography, things don't work that way. The best you can hope for is that you get a general idea of what is happening and then you can clarify and ask questions later. So being confused um, and being unsure is actually really a big part of learning choreography. And what is really fun when you work with a live choreographer or a teacher who is giving you a choreographic piece is that they will change the choreography based on what you're doing. So for example, if they tell you to turn one way and then you turn the other way, but by accident, and they like that accent, they like the way that looks better than what they originally thought of, they will change it so that they'll take in your accident. So your accident ends up being a part of the final product. And that's what's really fun is that it's actually really collaborative. And I would say a lot of choreographers 
are not really specific about what they want a lot of the times from my own experience and that's because they don't really know what they want they have like a vague idea of what they want and then um you do something and then they can tell whether or not they like the thing that you just did that's not how this is going to work obviously because i can't see you um but i just want you to know that i am being specifically very vague about many many things right now because there are just a lot of details to throw in for this if i went through all the details immediately right up front it would just be really intimidating so that's why we're just going through it piece by piece um so if you're really really lost don't worry just you know, hold on to this. We're gonna get through this together. And by the end, I know you can get it. It just takes a little bit of practice, okay? Of course, you can pause and rewind the video as you need to, but I would encourage you to try to just watch it through once and see if you will get it later. So that was a lot of information. So let's try this um, two more times with discounts, no music, so that you can just get it into your body, okay? Starting with right leg back, B plus five, six, seven, eight, and susu. Down and susu, down and susu, hold up, down, other side. Look towards your forearm, down and up, down, up, stay up, down. Now balance a one and two, three and four, tome parabure, plie, and up. And that's it. Let's do it one more time together with counts five six seven eight and susu down and susu down susu hold up down other side and susu down and susu down susu up hold balance and one two and three four and tome padre plie arms up we are going to officially try the two way counts that we learned with music. The music will be faster than what I've counted because I, of course, changed the pacing of how I count when there's a hard part coming up so that you can get it in the marking. Uh, but with music, obviously, there's really no slow down when the hard part comes. So then you would feel that some parts feel faster than other parts and maybe other parts feel slower than what you were expecting. Um, but again, this is all normal. Before we get started, I just want you to know that there's essentially no prep for the song. So in most of the music we use for class, there's a five, six, seven, eight, and then you start. There's only seven, eight start for this um, piece of music. So it's gonna feel really abrupt. Let's just get straight into it. There's only two counts for the intro, so be ready. Eight and susu, susu, susu. Other side, two, three, up, down. Balance, balance. Tombe par bure, plie, arms up. Amazing work, everyone. To celebrate, we are going to do the same thing again on the same side. Let's get straight into it. Second chance. Right leg, right leg, right leg, up, down, left leg, up, down. Balance a right, balance a left. Tommy Potterberry, right, plie. That's it. Great job, everyone. Oh my goodness. So before we end this lesson, I have one more thing to do. And I hope you don't think this is too cruel, but we are going to be doing those two eights of the dance, starting from the other side. So reversing everything we just learned. Don't worry, I'll mark it with you. Let's do it together. So exact same thing, just other side now. All right, left foot back. We'll go slowly. Five, six, seven, eight. And a susu, down, and a susu, down, and a susu. Hold up, down, other way. And susu, down, and susu, down, and susu. Stay up, down, balance, say to the left to the right, backwards. 
tombe pare bure, plie, arms up. So if you need to mark that again, just rewind the video, but we are going to do the left side with music two times. I know I didn't give you enough time to do it, but think of this as a very fun challenge. Um, there's no consequence if you do it wrong. So just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, let's take a deep breath, everybody, before we begin. You can do this. Left leg is in the front. Up, down, now right leg. Looking past the elbow. Up, down, down, say left, then right. Tombe, pas de beret, plie, arms up. That's it. Not too bad, right? Well, so before we move on, I want to talk a little bit about the between steps of the three susus that you're doing. So when you go up in susu, how you come down is just directly under you in a fondue and a pas de cheval. Again, susu, fondue, pas de cheval. And of course, you're still bent in the back legs that you can push to susu. Okay? So same thing on the other side, just try it out. I know it's a little awkward. Susu, pas de cheval fondue. Susu, pas de cheval fondue. That's just a little detail for anyone that was curious about what I was doing in between. Um, it's not necessary that you do that for right now. Of course, if you have the capacity for it, try it out. It's gonna be awkward to have to narrate the fondue part, but I'll try my best. Up, fondue, up, fondue, up. Fondue up, fondue up, fondue up, up, down, down, say left, twist the shoulders, tombe pas de bourre, plie. This is probably one of the more emotionally challenging <laughs> lessons that I've filmed, but I'm really happy that you've all made it through. We are going to pick up from this little dance that we are learning together in the next lesson and you will learn the last half of it. But congratulations for making it through. I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.